it's massive. You know, this is my first Challenge Cup final, so I'm delighted personally um, for the club. I think this is their first final in a very, very long time. So you know, it's it's great to kind of uh, be there and, and take a part in it. But you know, we're, we're not there just to take part and just add up the numbers. You know, we're going there to win. Um, you know, what always built a culture of you know winning for everything, competing for everything, and that's what we're definitely going to do. We can't wait to face Wigan in a few weeks' time. You touched on your opponents there, Wigan. What are you expecting from them? Yeah, you know, everyone knows what you know, a typical Wigan team looks like. Obviously, they've changed a little bit under uh, under Matty Peat coming in. Um, they're a bit more expansive, but in terms of defence, you know, they want to kick you, kick you into a pocket as well, tighten the line right up and, you know, just be very aggressive in the defence. So, you know, we're, we're ready for that, we understand that, and, yeah, we're, we're excited. But it's been a real positive season so far. I've always a strong start in the league, obviously, through to the Challenge Cup final. You must be confident in your own ability to go into that final. Of course, you know, we're in a good spot in the league. We've had a great cup run. Um, which it's not over yet, you know, we've still got a big game in a few weeks' time. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're delighted where, where, where we are or where we're going, you know, but there's still a few more hurdles to climb, so we're going to be satisfied with where we are. And uh, you mentioned Ian Watson's coach there. You worked with him at Salford and got to a grand final. What's it like working underwater again? Yeah, he's, he's good, you know, obviously we're, we've got a personal and kind of, you know, professional relationship, so it's good both ways in terms of, you know, the professional one, he just expects everyone to give 100% effort all the time when playing, when in training, when just being with the boys, you know, it's just all about effort-based areas, there is, you know, kick chase, escorting, off the ball efforts, there is main focuses within, within, within his game plan, with his structures and his tactics and that's what is installed into the, into the culture of the club. Uh, back in 2014, you won the grand final with St Helens against Wigan. You've played in grand final 19 for Salford, unfortunately lost. What do you think you can take from that big game to maybe give to some of the players who haven't played in those big games yet? Yeah, you know, I'm very lucky to have experienced those couple of big games. And when, you know, being a Saints kid, you know, I was in a very competitive environment, you know, so just kind of the experiences of, you know, Understanding the, the, what, what, where you are in the game, you know the players around you, everyone else's strengths and weaknesses. But you know, there's not just me and that team that's played in big games. Well, you've got Chris Hill, Theo Farge, Joe Greenwood. You know, there's a, there's a vast array of talent. You know, Chris McQueen's played in NRL Grand Finals. You know, there's a lot of experience throughout that squad. Um, if anything, you know, we back our defence. We're a defensive club, and we will always back our defence. And that was what hopefully won us the, uh, the Challenge Cup in a few weeks' time. And touched on Challenge Cup though. What does the Challenge Cup mean to you? Have you any memories as you used to watching the game? Um, yeah, well, to be fair, as a, as a northerner, you know, I always love playing at Old Trafford, so the grand finals, you know, my, my most exciting one. But, you know, to, to be able to play at the new Tottenham Stadium is amazing. You know, if you look at the kind of technology and, and the infrastructure of that, that club and that stadium, it's amazing. You know, so I'm excited to get down there and experience that for the first time. In terms of the Challenge Cup, you know, it's a, it's a prestigious honour within rugby league, especially as an Englishman. You know, so I'm really excited to kind of take part in that and hopefully put on a good spectacle for the fans and, and for the sport. What would it mean to lift that trophy? Uh, everything, you know, it's. It's something that you dream about as a kid to kind of play in these big competitions. You know, the, the, the Grand Final and the Challenge Cup Final are the two that we've got in this country. And, you know, it'll, it'll mean the world to me and the club and the fans if, you know, we can be victorious um, in a few weeks' time. And just finally on the fans, how important is it that those Giants fans come down to London and support you? Oh, massive. You know, they, they, were, they were amazing in, uh, in Leeds. And to, to, to continue that support will be, be outstanding for us and it will drive us forward. You know, that when in those dark moments in the game where you're in the grind and it's to and fro and, you know, you're out of the rest for about six, seven minutes, that's what really gets you home. And, you know, the fans have been outstanding all year. Hopefully they can continue to, to be so. And, yeah, we look forward to welcoming them to Tottenham when we get down there in a few weeks' time.